Hey everybody, it's Albert, and um, today I'm going to talk a little bit about something that's been bouncing around YouTube recently, or actually in, in the f past few months, I just haven't really bothered, um, but I, I think it's about to hit a frenzy, so this sort of stuff, we're about in, within, in the next month or so, um, and it's all, it'll be kind of funny because they don't actually realize a lot of things, and, and I just, it's, this, this sort of, you know, I could put it, Technically, this is about a conspiracy theorist, but it's not really a conspiracy theorist book club type thing because it's not really a book I'm talking about. It's, this is just going to be a general... I guess there's a book about it somewhere. I just haven't come across it. Um, but I just feel like poking fun at it So I, I, because I've seen enough of these videos on YouTube. And this has to do with Comet Elenin. You, some of you may have heard of it. Um, it's E L E N I N, although it's also variably spelled as E double L E N I N. It was dis it was discovered, um, not that it was discovered by uh, Leonard Ellen, a Russian scientist, and and because it was presumed to be a near Earth object, of course there was a lot of frenzy for a little while just to because they had, it was an unknown one, so they had to to. Uh, Check things and 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 where it was going, where it was heading, and and whether it would collide with the Earth and um, or come close to the Earth. Or and it turns out that it nah, the closest it would have come is like 22 million miles away, and it probably would never return because it was not. It was kind of on the small end of comets and wouldn't really survive. Pro, you know, or would, it's 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 uh, surviving the loop around the sun was was questionable and. And it just and you you know in the the only uh, the only point of interest would be whether it would perhaps be vi visible to the naked eye, um, and and it turns out that probably wasn't going to occur either. And you'd need a a telescope or at least good binoculars in a secluded area to even see the thing. Um, for those of us who like to uh, to do that sort of thing, you know, amateur astronomer types. So it, this was not a major event or anything, but it was good to know that it wasn't going to crash into us. That's always good news. But some people don't like good news. See, they love, they, they're just waiting for, um, and, and it's not even, and, it, and it's both, and this is both Christians and non-Christians. It's like a, it's kind of like there's this, these people who are united in their wish for mankind to be wiped from the face of the earth for various reasons, but they're united in that wish, and, and, and they just really want to die very quickly and painfully, and they want everyone else to come with them, so I, I, I you know, I, I really don't know what to say, and it's not, like I said, for the Christians, it doesn't appear to be a thing of necessarily wanting Jesus to return, because they talk a lot less about that than they do about the death and destruction part, so um, I, I just have to wonder, you know, exactly what is their motivation, um, but they... The, these are the people who latched onto like the Planet X stuff a few years ago, and in the coming year there were two rounds of Planet X stuff. So, um, and and now they're latching. They latched onto Comet Elenin as, as as you know, maybe the precursor of play. Maybe some some. I mean, there were wild stuff going on. Like they said, it's a neutron star. No, it's a comet. It's just a little hunk of rock and ice. It's not that big a deal. Um, and 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 all sorts of craziness and. You know, we're going to go through its tail, and, and, and that sort of, and that was going to cause some horrible thing and whatever. And it's really kind of funny because these people have absolutely no. I mean, suddenly you have people who couldn't solve a differential equation um, if their life depended on it, were suddenly. Uh, experts on, on planetary trajectories. It has nothing to do with them able, being able to do the math. They just, you know, know so they know of someone who channeled a space alien who told them this or some such thing. Uh, all kinds of craziness that, you know, President Obama's been ordered to a bomb shelter while Ellen in passes or I, just nutty, nutty stuff you'll find out on YouTube and on the Internet in general about this stuff. Um, first thing... I'll have a few links here. One is um, from NASA, um, just a basic description. It, it just came out some time ago. A basic description of common Ellen, and, and, and you'll be able to see, and you'll just, you can just see it there. Um, second link I'll have down there is a recent article, which basically said, guess what? The thing started going around the sun, and it broke up. 
it's now like just basically does it, it may not who, who knows if it even will make it back it may not the pieces of it may not make it back I mean and even if the thing had been in, on a head one collision it just wasn't that big and probably wouldn't have made it to Earth's atmosphere. This is not a major comet, folks. This is not one of those big jobs. This is a very little minor thing that, and it was interesting, and it was a potential, you know, and, and it was good that they calculated to make sure there was no danger, and there wasn't, but unless you understand the physics of it, then please don't um, say what is and isn't the case. But the funniest one, what I love, and I've seen this on numerous YouTube videos, you know, I don't know if they're all up, but I've, I know, I know I've seen it. Is they'll have the, they'll show the trajectory that Ellen is going as it leaves the atmosphere. It'll still like be coming down in this arc as it leaves the atmosphere, and the Earth is coming out. And Ellen's already past Earth's Earth's orbit, so it's like further out in space, but and moving it away from the sun. And they're assuming we're going to start entering its tail. See what they're thinking. And this is the, I know this is what they're saying. They're thinking of Elenin as like a rocket ship, and the, and the head of the comet precedes the tail. That's not really the case. The tail is always away from the sun, because what creates the tail is the heat of the sun and the solar wind. Okay, that's, it's basically melting the, it's, it's, you know, melting things like ice, frozen things, and, and the vapor is being pushed out by the solar wind. So, it, so the tail is actually preceding the head of the comet out of the, out, out of the, um, solar system. So, not we're not on the tail. The tail's on the other side of the comet, you moron. <laughs> but these people don't, don't, don't get this. So they do. We're going to pass through its tail. Magical things will happen. No, 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 no. We're not going to be near its. Its tail's going the opposite direction. Um, but anyway, there you go. Comet Elenin is, is is basically a bust. Um, and and um, of course, what I expect is that people will. Uh, um, accuse me of being, I don't know, a Jesuit Illuminatus from the planet Nibiru who who um, sits in his basement creating chemtrails. I mean, I don't know, you know, it's, it's, it's whatever. Thank you very much for your dive.